happy Tuesday morning. Somebody, me, forgot to charge their phone last night and so it died and they missed their alarm. So it is now 9.35. I wanted to be out the door by like 8.30, 9 o'clock. Feeling well and I'm going to go thrifting for the first time, I believe, since moving into this house. This house. Uh, so I don't know where I'm going to go. I screenshotted a whole bunch of places that I've never been that are within probably 10 or 15 minutes of here. I'm not going into Bradenton, Anna Maria, Longboat Key because with the traffic, it would probably take me about 45 minutes to an hour, even though it is less than seven miles away. <laughs> so we're going to try some new ones, see how we do. I have cash. I have a credit card. We'll see. I'll report back. Hi, I'm Melissa. I sell on eBay and today is going to be partly a haul and partly taking you into the stores. I'm going to do the haul first because that's, I'm very excited about it and that's what I like watching. But if you just want to jump into the stores and see what the local stores are about, and by local I mean three, I will put that up on the screen and you can just go look at the stores. Um, the first item is this 1980s phone that I got from $3.00 from my favorite thrift store, my favorite new thrift store. I spent $256 and it is called Hearts for Heroes Thrifty Boutique in Parish. And I went towards Parish because Bradenton um, had a fairly bad car accident, unfortunately, and there was no passing it. So all of the roads were shut down for hours. So I was so glad. <laughs> that sounds awful to be followed by a car accident. I was so glad. I was so glad to have found this thrift store. Um, so yeah, boop, 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 hello. And it's corded and these seem to be going for, now when I say going for, there's only like one or two that sold in the $90 range, but some of them with the boxes are about $150. I don't know how this goes. I grew up with phone there, maybe? That can't be. I don't know. $3. I should get at least $50 for it. We're going to do non um, clothing items first. Then we got some Bath and Body, all new, all in the back room. They had a store which was very crowded but organized. And then they were like, You've been here a while. Do you want to come in our back room? And I was like, Sure. So we left the building and entered storage units, just like corrugated metal locked storage units. And she like pulled them open and it was huge. I rented storage units, unfortunately, because we had to move and store our stuff and pay money to do so. Um, and this one was organized, but there was a lot of stuff in bins. I'm sure you'll see it and almost nothing had prices. So I'm going to say this was like $2 per piece, but I don't know. This is the Bright Lemon Snowdrop Ultra Shea Body Cream. It does look to be new. It does smell amazing. Bath and Body Works has a decent following uh, for some of their older scents. This one also seems to be new. I think it's it's their Body Butter in Japanese Cherry Blossom. Bath and Body Works. And then Tova Signature Perf Perfume. Perfume. Pretend I speak French. Un deux trois. Cuts it something. It does smell really good. And they look to be gone for maybe $20. And I think I paid a dollar or two for it. Two pieces of jewelry. They had a bunch of jewelry, but the jewelry was, I'm going to say overpriced. A lot of people pay, you know, $10 for a Chico's necklace. It's not great to resell a Chico's necklace if you're buying it for $10. This piece is marked green and um, it says, bless our baby, which makes me sad. Um, but maybe the baby's doing okay. And it's kind of a medallion. You could put it in your car. You could wear it as a necklace, a pin, a purse charm. Just carry it in your pocket and remember your child. And this was a dollar. And this next piece is a dollar. It is unmarked. It has a pin back. And then what looks to either be a thumbtack or an earring. <laughs> so it is a sun, moon, stars, heart kind of celestial happy sun and then it is attached to this I can probably see it it's like post and it also has I'm gonna guess a moon 
So in my mind, if you're wearing a collared shirt because they're both pinbacks, this might be marked. I don't know, it's hard because it's hammered on the back. You could kind of like put it here on your collar. I don't think you could, it, it's not very conducive to wearing one earring and this feels awfully sharp. So I don't, I don't know what it is, but I liked it enough for $1 and I thought the theme was cool. Next was in the back back room. It does look to be brand new. I opened it $10. She was like, um, nothing's marked her price. So just give me prices. And I hate that, but she was so nice. And I was going to make a good bit of money. And I was like, would you take 10? Because, um, Home Depot had it like at 89 and then marked down to 67 and Moen does really well. If this was a kitchen faucet, we might keep it, but Bear found two, um, bathroom faucet. It has the deck plate. It has, I really went through it. It has the stopper. These do really well. It's, it's a little heavy to ship, but not necessarily breakable. So will I get, I'll probably get at least $50, if not more on this. Next up, let's do shoes. Okay. <laughs> shoes. In the back back room, they had two pairs of Ofas, which I wear Ofas, Bear wears Ofas. I could have broken my foot in Ofas or at least sprained it and then walked on it for way too long of a time because Ultra, Ultra Care, Urgent Care told me it was just a sprain and then no, it turned out to be a pretty bad break and I chipped my ankle, but um, Ofas, and they had two pairs but they only, the second pair only had one shoe. And I was like, do you know where the other shoe is? But I mean, she didn't. So uh, $2 for these. These are my size, but I don't do the thong thing. And I'm trying to stay a little bit away from Ofa's because just in case I rolled my foot, um, which sounds like something I would do. Then we have these, which are also my size. <laughs> they are a nine and a half. I'm like a nine wide, so I can get away with these are not, these are um, a woman's nine, a men's seven, uh, European 40. So these are also a nine. Just happened that the good shoes were in a size nine. These are Vionics, kind of a bluish, yeah, you can see the color, blue leather. I love Vionics. I'll clean them up a little bit, but I should probably get $30 out of these. And I think shoes were, those were two. These might have been three. Hunter boots, again, my size. Um, do they say the size on them? They did have other shoes. It's really hard to find shoe sizes if you're not that size. These do fit me, so they are a nine. I think I even saw it somewhere, um, but they're in really good shape. I think I paid $5 for these. We have Donald J. Pliner. They look to be very good condition. Maybe new? There's hair on it. Um, maybe not, but I liked them. I wore them for about 10 seconds and stood in one place because I didn't want to kill myself. Here's the secondary one. But I think these were two or three dollars. And then my big purchase, which were 15 to 20 dollars, does it say? Black shoes, three dollars, black shoes, faucet, body butter. Fifteen dollars. Um, they are Harley Davidson. And they're in pretty decent shape. I will clean them, of course. Just know that I'm gonna clean everything. Not today necessarily, because we have a very full day, which is why I am up early. <laughs> it's like 9.30, but I was up at like 5.30, 6 o'clock doing things. I'm feeling pretty, pretty good. Um, and Bear was like, are they still toe? And I was like, I don't know. He's like, no, they're not still toe. But they are very cool size nine and a half, but I'm assuming that's a men's size. And I looked them up and they tend to go for at least a hundred dollars, which shoes are fairly easy to ship.
Okay, those were shoes. Then I have a belt. I don't remember putting a belt in there. I do remember looking at belts. It is genuine leather, which is good. It's a size medium and it has like little faux turquoise stones. A lot of times I pick up belts just to, oh, kind of matches. Eh, not exactly. Um, replace dress belts that happen to be missing. What if I paid a dollar for this? I don't know. And I truly don't remember putting it in my bag that I must have. Shorts next because they're boring. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. So they had a ton of men's shorts. I want to say they were $2 or $3 per pair of shorts. $3 and I picked up 11 pairs. Most of them were in bear size as of a year ago, six months ago. Some of them were on the low end. They were like 38 to 44. Bear was already claimed four pairs of the lower sized shorts. We went to the pancreatic doctor this past week and although his weight is okay, low for him, but not like really, really low, get him to the emergency room. The pancreatic doctor discussed the possibility if he's not going to eat because eating still hurts, which is, he has MALS, M-A-L-S. They did the surgery, recovery's been really slow, but the last two weeks he's been okay. But he's not getting in very many nutrients um, from food, so we are supplementing. He's not keen on taking protein shakes. I don't blame him. <laughs> There's very few protein shakes that don't have milk or milk casein or lactose, which he does seem to be sensitive now that his gallbladder is out. Long story short, a feeding tube was suggested by two separate doctors, but we aren't there yet. And so he is trying to eat more. He is in more pain, but we're pretty sure it's temporary pain. We saw his surgeon yesterday in Tampa, which it was the three month follow-up. The surgeon kind of smartly wanted to see him, of course, the day after. Oh, my mom's calling. I'm gonna, call, I'm, I'm gonna, I'll be back. I'll, I'm gonna take my mom. I am back. It's probably an hour later, so I'm going to have to go fairly quickly. Um, I mean, Fisher shorts. There's two pairs. Both are linen. I'll probably lot these together. Thought about keeping them, but they are small. They don't look small, small, but I am not that small, small. So there's a brown pair. I think these were two or three dollars and um, a tan pair. Now the one of these is longer than the other. They look close to being identical, but I think the brown pair, yeah, is a few inches longer, but I still might let them up. Okay. I picked up every pair of these kinds of pants. I am in love with these kinds of pants. I've been wearing mine, um, basically nonstop, even though it's like 80 degrees out. They're just so comfortable. They are like a wider leg cotton cargo pockets everywhere. These are Cabela's. Uh, size 16, seven pocket hiker. And I have two pairs of these, I think slightly different colors. So I will probably lock these up because they're not my size. Do I have the other pair? Here's the other pair. They're a slightly more green pair. Same label, same everything. These are the pants that will last you forever. Love these. So here's, here's the gray. Here's like the olive green. You can see the difference. I don't know what I just did with the other pair of pants. Uh, Victoria's Secret Sport. I think these were a dollar. They were in the swimsuit bin outside. What size are these? They've got to be, they're a medium. They're, they're clearly stretchy. I like them a lot. They're seamed during the, the back. I'm not into seams. And obviously these aren't for me. They smell really good though. Jorts. Jorts are very in. If you didn't know the teenagers, just like the generic teenagers, not all of them clearly, um, 
are into jorts, like the Adam Sandler look. And these are Lee, and they are a size 42. And they have where you can put um, your hammer. <laughs> Is anybody still doing that? Just for fashion, your fashion hammer. So, jorts, yes. These are so well made. I made Bear feel all of this stuff. These are Jordan extra, extra large. I tried to get him to keep them, but they're too warm for him. They are like you move to Alaska, but suddenly you need shorts. They're in pristine condition. They, they must weigh like two pounds. I, I've never felt shorts like this. They're so nice. They must be cotton, right? Made in Cambodia. 82% cotton, 18, 82% cotton, 18% polyester. Pocket bag knuckle side. I don't know what that means. Knuckle side. They're just, they're just regular pockets. I guess you can put your knuckle in there. Dry fit, Nike Sport, Nike. Now it did have this like little gray stitch on it but it has it on the inside and out. So I'm assuming that was some kind of tag. Extra large, liked the color. It's not for me, I don't know why I held that up. These are weird pants. These are nylon pants, they are golf pants, but I was like, I don't think these are golf pants. I know my golf pants, golfer husband. Um, they're Walter Hagen, Hagen, and they look tiny. Uh, what size are you? Do you say a size on you? Sheen wash, 32.30. Yeah, I guess so. And they're kind of like a gray, blue. Again, these were all probably like two to three dollars. Another pair that I wanted to keep, but I don't really wear sweatpants all that much. And by all that much, I mean a lot, but not this kind. Champion made in Pakistan. They might be um, vintage. Now, they do have the nursing tag or like retirement community people's names. And there's two different names in here. Three different names. Are they three different names? No, somebody's name is twice. Um, so they got passed on. I don't know. I kind of like that. I, I might get them out. And um, they have the giant champion logo. They are a jogger style, so maybe they're not. But they are cotton, and they are really nice condition. Next, we have something I'll probably lot up. This name is B-R-I-S-A-S. Brisas. Brisas. Um, size 1X. These are the pink pair. They are short. But like a longer short. And then we have the blue... I think I like this pair better, but I'm a blue girl, so you wouldn't know that. So these are the two colorways, and they are the same exact short, and they have like a little medallion on the back in silver. It's very pretty. Okay, now the men's, men's shorts. Anybody could wear shorts, obviously. These were all within a 38 to 44, and all look to be the same person donated it because they are Wranglers, um, cargo shorts, cotton. These are 40, they are black. We were hoping these fit, but um, they're a little too big on him right now. He is six foot six, so big in the waist, but not big enough in the length. He really, especially if he's sitting down, he really needs long shorts. Uh, here are the blue ones. I'll probably lock these up. These are also a 40. I think he did keep one of the 40s that were longer for some reason. These are a 40, same exact Wrangler cargo shorts. These are a 40. <laughs> We've now seen them in every colorway. Gray, blue, black, tan. Oh, don't, don't think we're finished. I think these are a different, these are a 42. Same, same Wrangler, but a bigger size. Slightly bigger size. Are they actually a bigger size? 
they're about that much bigger, so slightly bigger. <laughs> These have a different feel to them. I'm sure they're cotton, but it's a thinner cotton. They're a cotton spandex. These are 42. Are they Wrangler? They are Wrangler. Imagine that. And they're kind of a brownish color. Um, Gap joggers. I liked these a whole lot. They are an extra large. I did try these on. Like I need another pair of really comfortable pants. I don't, they almost look like scrubs to me in real life. Um, but they are a true jogger. They were a little big on me and I own like 20 pairs of pants like this. So pass. Then we have these, which are um, a Walmart brand. And I think they're 42 or 44. 44. A lot of people in Florida wear these kinds of shorts. So even if they're not cool where you live, if you, I mean, if you just drive Anna Maria, almost every person is wearing this kind of shorts because linen wrinkles really easily. And to get back and forth from the beach and take the, the public shuttle, we have a trolley on the island. Um, it's hysterical. It's, it's like beach uniform, khaki cargo shorts. Okay, now the things that I hung up last night. I love this so much. This might have been my favorite clothing purchase. It is vintage Levi's, not big E. Um, little E. You always wanna look for the E. If you didn't know, I'm sure you knew. But the little E, but look how cool. This is like straight from the 90s. And now to go along with that, Panhandle Slim, proud to be American. Oh, I think that was a size large, but I tried it on and it's a dress on me. So now I am 5'8", um, and by dress, I mean, it's probably a shorter dress, but I don't think I could get away with wearing it. <laughs> See what I mean? Like. Like I'm holding this up to my shoulders. It doesn't look like it when I bend down, but Bear's like, well, you could still wear that. And I'm like, I really don't think I could. I mean, not like outside of the house. I could wear, you can wear anything, let's be honest. But um, look at all the fun prints. This is 100% cotton. This does seem to be vintage. Love this. I think shirts were two or $3. Nothing was super expensive. Pants, $3. Phone was $3. The robe, oh, I'm so excited about the robe. The belt was a dollar. Top, $3. Jacket was $10. Men's shirts were $3, but some tops were $2. Oh, they had stuff outside. So she's like, did you get this outside? Did you get this inside? And I was like, everything outside I was really trying to be oh, I love this too um country seat size large it seems like the same person donated all of all of their fun vintage and I love this like little cross stitch detail I know it's just a pleat so it opens but again it's, it's too big on me I can't keep that swimsuits I liked this one a whole lot this one still has the sticker. Nope, not this one. One of them still has the sticker from um, being new. This one is a size 14D. So it has cups in it. And I liked the puckery material and like this cerulean blue. If you know, you know, and it's a modest cut. But then the back is kind of like a fun crossover. You don't see that often. I don't see that often. Swimsuits were two to three dollars. Um, this one has the cups inside. It is Miracle Suit size 14, so maybe the same person donated their swimsuits, but it does have like the underwire cups where you could not insert anything. Never mind. Swimsuits do pretty well for me. Is this the one that still has the Nope. One of these 
still has like the sticky. This weighs a lot. This is like a good suit. This one is Land's End 20W. Solid black. Lots of ruching. Lots of ruching. Um, even like the cups have support. It, it's a really nice suit. This one I had to hang this way because it is a one shoulder. And who makes you? Motherhood maternity size medium. A little bit of ruching at the tummy and uh, one shoulder. I liked the butt coverage. I have a few more swimsuits or at least one more. This swimsuit I didn't recognize. However, it's from Australia. And usually Australian swimsuits are higher quality. Um, and I'm again generalizing it. This is an extra small. It is very high cut, hot pink, kind of that fun little um, texture. Very, very high in the back as well, but the quality is really good. Okay, next, I kind of like this. It has a texture to it. So it's kind of that pinky color that people were complimenting me on. Um, it is cut and rayon, and the brand is P.O.L. I don't know who makes P.O.L., but I did like all of the seams, like down the front and back. I liked that a whole lot. I just like the style. I think that was $2. And then this one is, again, P.O.L., kind of an orangey red. It's reading more red. It's definitely orange. Um, reminds me a little bit of Free People with the trim, like a vintage Free People with the little fake buttons. This one feels like cotton polyester too, to be fair. Rayon. Rayon spandex. That's a definite no. Plus, you know those, I don't know if you're on TikTok like I am on TikTok. So much so that my, my screen has like the TikTok sign burned into it. Um, but this is not my color. That this, no. Color analysis cost $1,000, not doing that. These two are both the same size, both same style, Fox Croft Wrinkle Free 20W shaped. Loved the jewel tones. There's that one, and there's that one. Ooh, ooh. But I'll probably lock these up because they are in really nice shape. And the Fox Croft usually doesn't wrinkle, which is so nice. This looks to be vintage. It is not. It is Target. It is a new day. Uh, extra large. It feels like linen or a linen blend. Let's see. Linen rayon. 55% linen. And look how fun that is. Just so fun. Very eye-catching. Love the colors. Love the neon. Good job. This was $10. This was in the back back room. It is heavy. Like heavy heavy it is inside edge extra extra large made in the philippines and there's snaps snaps zippers fun color blocky um yeah it's gonna cost four thousand dollars to ship i don't think it actually will we love the pockets Oh, this was so pretty. She's like, new dresses are between five and 10, and this wasn't priced, but it is um, Draper jeans. Returns are easy. We're taking that tag off because it's like this tiny little tag. Um, and I think she charged me seven to $8 for this one. It is a one X and it is Draper jeans RSVP. Love the colors. Love, love the colors, love the fit. It is smocked down the middle. Probably put a little tape there if you were really worried and have it like whatever. And it does have pockets. It also has like a, almost not a Swiss dot, but like a really cool thing going on. I liked it a lot. Not my colors, but I liked it. Oh! Another fun, <laughs> fun shirt, Western shirt. Uh, ooh, I don't know how to say that word. Chep, Chaparral. 
Ridge Copyright 1994 Hong Kong, which of course there is no more Hong Kong. And look how fun. I like that they just did half the shirt. And then part denim, part not. Three different patterns again. That one might fit me a little better, but I don't love the pattern. This one has a few little marks on it, little stains, we'll soak it. But the hill figure is um, appliqued, it's not printed. And it is their custom fit size large. I'm gonna see if you can see um, like that, it has a little bit of a mark. And the stripes are um, 3D, not printed, applique. Very nice. Liked it. I like this one a whole bunch and I might try this on. It is Ralph Lauren custom fit size large. It is black and white and usually I try to stick with blue and white for tops because I think blue looks slightly better than, than black on me. It just kind of washes me out. But it feels so nice. It's the kind of cotton that I do really, really well with. 100% cotton, of course, but it's like, it's a good cotton. It's, it's this kind of cotton. You know what I mean? It's not like, this is cotton and Ralph Lauren, but it's like a soft, this is not, this is, this is a woven cotton. Oh, I wish this was blue so badly. This is tail, you can barely tell. And it is a size extra large, say like, would you know what that is? No, but I knew where it was what it was and it was in the back. And I think I paid $2 for this. It is polyester spandex. And again, the print is so pretty. It's purple and pink and white. Oh, and I just realized the snap say tail. <laughs> Silly me. And the last item from this thrift store, I might keep, I don't own a robe. This is gownies, we've got you covered. Um, it's like a hospital robe. It's got buttons. It feels incredible. It's got pockets. It's cotton spandex. It's made in India. It's machine washable. It's a size medium large. I, I like this a lot, a lot, a lot. I like that it ties. I like that it has the extra buttons. Pretend I'm like just around the house and somebody rings the doorbell, which happens quite a bit when we have contractors and stuff around. And then just like, you just pop this on and it just kind of looks like a dress and you head back together. Except my hair would not look like this and um, I wouldn't have my act together. So was that everything from that store? I don't think it is. Well, Bear, you know, took four pocket, four shorts. Uh, Moen faucet, sandals, shoes, black shoes, cream body, dress, yes, pants, activewear, pants, phone, robe, the robe was $4, shorts, belt, top, print, I don't know what that means, jacket, jewelry, dress, shirt, blah, 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 boots, yeah, so everything together was $256, except, so I get online. And the woman was talking. There's two volunteers there. It was an amazing place. I will go back in a heartbeat. Probably a lot because it's fairly close and it's not towards Bradenton. Bradenton is, is very close. It's right across the bridge. But if traffic is bad, traffic is bad. So, um, so I paid 256 which I have no problem doing for all of this stuff. Especially because, like... The phone, the Harley Davidson shoes, this a giant pile. The Moen faucet will probably bring close to that, plus a few other things. So all of the money, all of the money goes to veterans and service dogs for veterans. And they have 27 acres in Florida with camps um, that they don't charge people where veterans and their families can go for respite care or the veterans can go for respite care for up to two weeks if the families need um, rest. She was explaining to me, I have all of the information she gave me. I was like, oh gosh, that's an amazing thing. Okay, then I will pop in some photos along the way of the other things I got at the other two 
So yesterday I went here. The other two, two thrift stores, I'm going to call them thrift stores. They weren't really thrift stores. They were like antique booth thrift stores, chaos stores. Um, I bought a few things and I listed them that day. That's how few things I bought. But my favorite find of the day was this fork. Now, Bear and I have this fork, which we love. I have always had a favorite fork, even since a childhood. I would call it my princess fork. And it was like different than the other forks. I'm very into forks. This one is, um, this is the fork we found at the bins that we both very much like. And my mom's like, why don't you just buy a whole set? A whole set's like four to $700, first of all. Second of all, even if we were billionaires, then the fork wouldn't be special. See what I mean? If you had all special forks, it negates the specialists. But this one is M-E-P-R-A Italy. So it's a really good fork. So the tines are sharp, so you can pierce meat, but not that sharp. Um, the color is beautiful, first of all. The colors in this entire collection, um, it's weighted really, really nicely. And it feels good because they did the whole thing circular. It's like a cylindrical... I don't even know what material this is. It's not metal, so it's not cold. It's a really good fork. So I was looking through forks and they gave me this fork for free. <laughs> and this one is um, from Germany. It is F, nope, I'm reading it backward. It is WMF, I'll put it on the screen, I don't know. Germany, this fork is different. It's very sleek. It doesn't have as good of a balancing point, but it does. And the tines are very nice. They're together, but not too together. The piercing is a little sharper than this fork, but I don't mind that. And although it's metal and my hand doesn't love the feel of metal, um, this is now our second favorite fork. So now I can take this fork and Bear can use this fork. We do have other forks. We have like two other forks. We my mom came to visit and she's like, she told my sister, she comes down and she's like, bring your own forks. They only have like three forks, but how many forks does one person need? I mean, like it's him and me. We're never eating like, like where we need two forks. We just use a fork. We, we don't have like 10 course meals where you need like a shrimp fork, a salad fork. A, I can't even name other forks. I don't even know if shrimp forks a thing, but they're, they're very good forks. So that's the end of that. The rest of this will be me walking through thrift stores and giving my opinion on them. And this is going to be a very long video, but I have to get going. I also have to take the 4,000 hairpins out of my hair because it's giving me a headache, which I knew it would do, but I could do this for like, like half hour to an hour um, before all of the hairpins start to hurt my head and yeah today we have to go to Publix which is a local grocery store and get our car registration renewed you don't need your car inspected here in Florida which is probably why our car insurance is the number one car insurance in America because nobody is inspecting your car so you can do that at any Publix. And then we have to go drop off our um, homestead taxes because we get a break on property taxes, a really good break since we live here full time because a lot of people don't. And then we have to go to a doctor's appointment for Bear. Um, and then I'm guessing I'm going to need to sleep. <laughs> so enjoy the video. Oh, somebody wanted to see, hold on. Somebody wanted to see something. I'll be back. Somebody wanted to see our um, topper. The woman's head is barely holding on and the man's head is, is smashed our wedding cake topper. This was Bear's parents' wedding cake topper. My hair is also made of dry shampoo at this point. Poor man's head. And the woman's head, you can kind of see like, it's, it's being held on by a metal rod. <laughs> She's missing a half of her arm. But I think that's the only thing we have left from the actual wedding. I have our invites um, saved somewhere else, <laughs> but that's about it. Somebody wanted to see it, they've been asking, so. Okay, the end, enjoy the rest of the video.
or not if you want to stop it here take care bye i am currently in the back back room of a thrift store i found and nothing is labeled <laughs> this is just like a warehouse behind the thrift store so I, I don't I wish things were labeled this is going to take me forever and I don't have forever today we have to go to a doctor's appointment but I mean does anybody see anything <laughs> this looks like that's so funny is it It is an Ed Hardy cup. I wonder if that has value. Oh my goodness, there's so much stuff in here. Nice to be able to do that. That works out well, huh? Okay, that was an experience. That is very close to my house in a way I normally don't go and off the beaten path. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I spent $300, which is absolutely fine and well within budget when I say budget there's really no budget um, when I'm making money I mean there probably is a budget I didn't want to spend you know ten thousand dollars or something even remotely close to that but if I can flip things for a profit then budget yeah I'm gonna make money um that was a lot of fun and it oh it all goes to such a good cause such a good cause what is the name of this place I don't even know it is next to the International Medical Laboratory. Hearts of something thrifty something. That doesn't help. Their sign is very tiny. They have racks outside. I, I did really well, I think. There was no like Chanel or St. John, but there was a ton of like Eileen Fisher and vintage Levi's and I I blur just blur because it just kept going and she's like do you want to come in our warehouse and I was like sure she's like nothing's priced in the warehouse I'm like I'll make a bag and the bag turned into a pile and I got Ufa's and Harley Davidson boots and <laughs> It'll be so much fun to go home and see what I got. And I have to be home within, I mean, an hour. But for me, that's that's cutting it close when we have to travel two miles. Just never know. But um, then we have to turn back around and go to the doctor and go home. And then Bear has to turn around and go play tonight, which is the very first time he's playing anything except a one-hour gig. It's a two-hour gig. I'm guessing adrenaline's going to get him through, and we'll go from there. I will show you a haul later when I, my brain can process what happened, because I, there's no way I went through even, I mean, maybe a tenth of this stuff. It was, it was, it was organized vaguely, but like... I didn't want to film because there were other people and people were talking and it was a lot. It was a lot. Um, I had a good time, I think. I need to process. <laughs> okay, I am at a thrift store, antique store, clutter store. I'm not sure what they're calling this place. That isn't that far from my home and I've never been to the prices. Some of them are high. This piece of silver was 25 cents. So I think we just look. It's plastic. $28. Purple decor, also plastic. Cake stand. Oh, so they have Amazon prices printed. 
but to be fair, Amazon fluctuates. So really pretty, but $5 each times, let's say 20, that's a lot of money. I, uh, this is somewhere in between. I mean, this just keeps going. So let's see what, also I forgot my glasses in my car. Pampered Chef. This looks to be not great. We are looking for mostly resale items. Like $8 a card. Now I'm, pretend they're even a local artist because maybe they are, they're pretty. But that's not really this kind of place's deal. Bags of Legos. Now again, if this entire thing was, you know, 20, 30, 40 dollars, I might take a shot. Lego box parts with coast ship, 10 dollars. But again, I'm sure not all the pieces are there. This is, this is a very odd place. <laughs> also, if you're looking for some of this stuff, I'm sure you really can't find it anywhere else. A jewelry bag, which usually I'd be interested in if there was like one or two pieces of sterling. So I'm carrying around this fork because they have no bags here. My fault. But this looks to be all very inexpensive. Oh, a pink thing. We might go look at that pink thing because I do not need any other pink things, but still attractive. There's no way I could look up everything here. Hard Rock Casino Tampa Blanket Eye Cover Blow Up Pillow. But it's used, like really used. 30 rolls, I don't know what that is. Maybe receipt paper. It's also very crowded in here. Let's go look at the pink thing for lack of anything else to do. Mason glasses, are they older? $8? Doesn't seem like a very good deal at all. I honestly don't know that I'll pick up anything else. Like $12. That's, that's like a Hobby Lobby thing, guys. I do like this pink thing. <laughs> if I come home with one more pink thing. Okay, it's not glazed on the bottom, so it's not Hagar, and usually Hagar has three dots. I do like it a lot. It's the right color. It's the right shape. I really think I'm going to have to pass on yet another pink thing. My whole house is just going to be full of dusty pink things. Table saw. Show that to Bear when he gets when I get home. I don't really need art. Ooh, a telescope though. This is not a very good one. I don't think I've been here before. I think I've been to places like this. Desk with two drawers. Oh, the desk is for sale. $75. But again, Facebook Marketplace. You can get things for free. Crate and barrel table. Carpet scraps, I guess. When they do this. Because when was this printed? Not that long ago, but still. I hate it. Okay, let's see about t shirts. If they're single stitch. I don't know what that one means. Maybe a game of sorts? The Expanse loot wear. Yeah, it's probably a game. Okay. Star Wars. Oh, so cute. Little gators. Oh, this looks like sports stuff. 
Christmas, a whole bunch of tiny little sports things. Star Wars. Oh, a really nice trench coat. $15. Coat, fur lining, jeopard outer. Jepold Outer Banks Collection. It's not real fur. We do not like that. Oh, I like this a lot. Fringed fringe dress. Ooh. It's stained though. Come on. $10 for a stained dress. I might have picked it up for me though. I like this a whole lot, but it's stained. Um, yep, nope. Uh, no, t-shirts are $8. That is way too much for used t-shirts. Happy birthday gift bags and boxes for, for a dollar. Nope. Let me see how big this place is, right? <laughs> if all I get <laughs> is one fork, that is going to be hysterical. Oh, we're back to the blue whale. Thank goodness that is there because... I would not know where we were going in this store. Dress are 110. Again, not a bad price. Nope, doesn't have sliders. Glasses. I wonder if they <laughs> they work with my prescription because the glasses I currently purchase are eight dollars. Nope, that's blurry. Three dollars each. Too much. Drum stand, too much. Bear has hit me to the, ooh. The Florida seashore beckons. Imagine day after day of bright blue skies. I like the theory of this, it looks new. It looks handmade. It's not terrible. If we had a beachy house, we don't have a beachy house. I like this little girl back here. How much are you? $65. That's too much. Might not be too much. It's too much for what I'm willing to spend. Oh, daily updates on Facebook for anybody interested. Whoa. A lot of these guys. Are these Funko Pops? Are these what these are called? Yes. I I couldn't tell you which one of these is valuable, and I'm guessing they've looked them all up. These all look like very new signs. Very new signs. I do like the shape of this. Royal Hager, of course I like the shape of this. It is Hager. $20 though. I would pay... It goes with my thing, but again, I don't really need that. I'd probably t pay 10 but not 20 Golf cart wood model with lights. That's cute. Not for $60. Pops. Common, exclusive with stickers, otherwise priced. Oh, this was sold. Wow, good for them. $110. Yikes. Oh, I like this too. Not marked. There's a lot of beds for some reason. This bear looks old, but not that old. Baseball. How much do we want? Let's set down my one fork. Vintage bear with baseball outfit. We don't care about your baseball outfit. Sorry, bear. Okay, he is stitched down the back. Looking for markings. He's not exceptionally well made. I like his eyes though. No, he said no. There's a lot of stuff that looks unwrapped. Oh, I was looking for one of these <laughs> for my fantasy 
if somebody stays over to separate the rooms a little bit more. But the on Facebook Marketplace, they're going for about $20. And I don't see a price on this one. So that's a skip. It's not a bad price, $75, except there's a bug crawling on it. Looks like we've gotten into the furniture aisle. Ooh, not the scale. I do like this. Nope, I thought it was wood. Never mind, that's metal. Bear and I have a lot of this furniture, except ours is pencil reed, which I really like. This is gorgeous. And $245. Very cute. I'm gonna have to go get a quarter from the car because I'm not breaking a 20. A lot of furniture. Steam engine. It looks like people Googled a lot of this. Ooh, look at that trash can. <laughs> they have that price? No, it's just a trash can. Never mind. Just a trash can. I was like, that's kind of cool. Ooh, I like this a whole lot. For all the times I have people. Wow, it's really heavy. It is a Peterborough basket, but they also want $38 for it. It's big. I don't know if you can tell how big it is. It's for when I invite people over in my dreams and then we separate it. The plastic would have to go. Um, and do like a charcuterie board, but not a board. I like these pieces. I do not like the frames. What is this? This is a unknown piece. You are staying there now, unknown piece. I do really like these October. Now these could either be old, the frames are new. $25 lithographs for both. I hate the frames. Sorry frame people. I really don't eat art. And to sell those, my mom I'm sure would be like, oh no big deal selling art but nah, I am not there yet selling art takes about an hour just looking for rolled hems in this pile of scarves um, and an hour of my time is not best used right now packaging art unless I was really making a profit this feels like silk Let's see the hems Hems. Hmm. They are rolled. This doesn't look particularly well made, so unless this has a logo on it. Give me one second. Let's check that in. I don't see a logo anywhere on this, nor a tag. So that's getting left behind. Again, this looks good, but it's like that fake meadow, metal color. Fork. This is a good fork. It's a good weight. New clothes, three dollars each. Clothes. Okay, I'm gonna set this down and go through the clothes. I'll let you know. Okay, the clothes were all warm, not hurt, and a few pieces of Target. This is really pretty. I think these are QVC, though, Temptations. Ooh, imagine if this was the Lennox Spice Collection for $95. I would buy that. Um, so, yeah, pass, and the clothes were no good. There was one pair of Muck Luck kind of knockoffs. They're lesser brand for three dollars but they were tiny and a little bit pilly 
There's a lot to see. Also, a, ooh, I like that. A lot I don't want. Ooh, I like that too. Ooh, maybe this will be the good booth other than my fork. Ooh, also love this. 45 table, 45. It's heavy. Also, white is not our color, but I don't know if you can see that. That is cool. We're going to take a picture and Google that. Very pretty. This is the best booth yet, but I'm guessing the most expensive. Whoa, this is heavy. This is real crystal, I think. This is gorgeous. Six dollars. If I was going to give somebody flowers, which to be fair, I don't do um, because flowers die and it seems silly to me to give people something that's going to die. That's a good price. Italian oil or kerosene. <laughs> I appreciate how they spelled kerosene. Lamp. $35. I like this a lot too. Not for me. Okay, fork, you stay there. There was something on top that I was interested in. What was that thing up here? I think it's a lamp something. Riser shelf. Nope, that's not it. What does that say? Glass lampshade. Yeah, I like I like that. If it was pink, we might get that. Shh, don't tell me I'm not allowed to have more pink. Pink's now my thing. I collect all the pink. Except for that really expensive thing. Oh, that's such a fun mixer. That's my colors of my house, too. Not allowed to buy a mixer. I don't cook. Listed artist David Wong, Sea Life Painting, $25, Sea Back of Frame. Okay. Oh, there he is. David Wong. Wonder if he knows his piece of art. It's really well done. It's really well done. I have, oh, such a good doctor who collects art. Um, plastic things. I don't know what these are up here. This looks plasticky. I don't know what it is though. Hand holder. Vintage milk carton holder. Oh, how fun. I'm not doing that. Canada still uses that type of thing, right? Their milk comes in bags for the most part. We don't need one of those. Bob Mackey, ooh, but QVC, $10, and not a dream catcher, but kinda. Usually Bob Mackey has an A number if it's being sold at QVC, and then I could just look it up on the QVC website. It is A09730, $10 though, that's too much for that. Ooh. Thought those were Mackenzie Child for split seconds. Again, I do not have my glasses on. Hmm. <laughs> it looks like we're getting a fork. This is the best booth yet, at least. It's all the way in the back. Ooh, yikes. Okay, I, I do like this teak. I'm guessing this is an umbrella stand. Could you turn it upside down? No, you could not. I don't need an umbrella stand because we don't own umbrellas. We live in Florida. When you steal from this booth, you steal from rescue dogs. And Karma really hates that. Please don't steal. Rescue dogs, guys. Oops, nope. Sorry, rescue dogs. Oh, am I going to be able to... <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to do that from this angle. That is too high. I need my husband here to rehook this thing I dropped. Okay. There we go. Okay. Whew. Okay. Somebody did a good job on this. And if it was on a leotard and we were going to see 
Taylor Swift, which tickets to Miami are like fourteen hundred. Th that might be fun on a leotard, but not on a table. Smile, you're on camera. I just smiled. I, I don't know where the camera is. Tempered glass doors. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I wish I had a tape measure in my purse. I just switched purses, though, so that was really dumb. Um, huh. $80. Pocket doors. Pocket doors. Okay. I don't think I need pocket doors. I think I need real doors for the primary bathroom. Oh, that's empty. I <laughs> was not expecting that. Those are fake fruit. My mom always says fake fruit is worth money, but this is kind of ugly, dusty fake fruit. Oven cleaner, a dollar. We are definitely not trusting that. This is too lightweight. And we have napkins. This is a very weird store that I'm going to break things in. You didn't see that. Great Smoky Mountains. This is a very tiny towel for $4. We'll put that back down there. Sky Lanterns, Peony Babies. $5. <laughs> This is signed, frame picture, signed, lots of signed, the matting is signed, the picture is signed, I don't like it. Oh, a whole thing of pigs! A dollar? Oh, it's a squealing pig. Nope. That just must be his mouth. Bear really likes cute pigs, but if I buy him a pig, he's not going to know what to do with it. He's just going to be like, thanks. Okay, so we are going to Google this piece. Maybe take the crystal vase. I really don't want to ship crystal. It is so heavy. Like this, this has got to weigh. Okay, I was going to say 10 pounds. It's probably five. And we're taking the fork. <laughs> my mom would be proud. She flew in to help my husband and I. I had vintage rulers. It was a yardstick. Oh, I wasn't interested with, with the, the ruler, but the yardstick. Come on. I have so many of those. Um, and my mom flew in, and I can't remember where I was going with the story. Oh, we only own three forks. It's just Bear and I. How many forks do we need? We also only own two pots. So she told my sister if she was ever to come down to bring her own cutlery. But to be fair, we have really been really sick since we've moved in. Like, really sick. Vintage Pyrex beaker. Interesting. Is it Pyrex all in capital? Oh, no. It's even better. Ooh. That is being Googled. Okay. We will Google a few things. And I'll get back to you. Also, is this a toothbrush? This is the weirdest story. Okay, I'm now laying on the floor. This seems to be particle board, but this is laminate. I was wishing I could find a maker's tag. Laminate usually cleans up pretty well. $45. I think that's a really good deal. I just don't know if I want it. There's so much free furniture in this area. Honestly, if I was in any other area. <sighs> or this was like 10 bucks, I would probably get this. I would need them to help me out to the car. Could I style this in my home? And would somebody pay at least $100? I don't think so. Oh, it's so cool. It's not my style, so I would have to sell it, which is fine. Okay, I'm going to take a few more pictures <laughs> of it. Don't be careful me. Be careful where I sit. Okay, this looks to be on eBay, unsold for 35 or best offer, which means they'll probably take 20 plus shipping. I... 
if I gave flowers to anybody, I would buy this immediately because of the, the, it's just going to take too much work. So we're back to the fork. I really like the fork. <laughs> Forks are very hard. But it is um, made in Germany. It is a brand name. I like, I very much like it. I'm very particular about forks. Imagine. Ugh. That's how I feel about that. Glass side table. We do need something like that, but not in that style. This is going to a good cause, too. It's, it's thrown me off. Oh, this is marked. My mom would have picked up on this right away. D.M. D.M. Pottery. How much are you? You're free. No, you are $10. Signed, Ram... Rack Raku. <laughs> That's clearly not how you say that, but I will Google it. Okay, I stopped at one last booth, which I thought I missed. Also, this poor woman needs her hair curled. This is what she's supposed to look like, and then somebody gave her that haircut, but I do like her. Um, I found this box, which you'd be like, eh, it weighs so much like so much and it has a marking on the back I'm gonna try to do this one-handed um, of JC Penny and that's an older one and it's travertine and it's $69 and they want eight for it I think I'm gonna get that and my fork <laughs> and this pot also I am going to ask about um, that mid-century piece, just to see. I like the fish tiles. If we were doing our kitchen in a fish theme, which we're totally not. Uh, what is that down there? Cherry large bowl. Something cherry bowl. Something bowl. Oh, gosh. Everything is so hard to get to here one-handed. Nope, Pampered Chef. Sorry, Pampered Chef. I know you have a following. I know you're going viral on TikTok. I can't do it. Um, I'm going to ask about that mid-century piece just to see if things ever go on sale. What is this? Aqua water perfume. I will look this up. Some perfumes have good resale value. That is just nothing. Also, that pink piece I'm really into. Oh, Mancala. My son used to craft tray. No, it's not a craft tray. It's Mancala. Um, Mancala. I don't know. Um, it was plastic. So, oh, another cut crystal glass. <laughs> Maybe that'll be my new thing. So many. Stop printing out things. At least these are microfiber. Paint? How old is that paint? Okay. Um, if the mid-century table was half off, I would probably get it. I'm going to leave my stuff there. I feel like it's safe. But it's not. But if they ever do mark it half off, I would be interested it's just this area, if I was in any other area, there's so much for free in this area. So much. I already looked at this because I thought this tablecloth, which is not even hand anything. It's like a cheap tablecloth with $6. That's crazy. Also, jump scare. Can we make him look right into your soul? Yikes. Um, I think that's it for this store. I've been here for probably 45 minutes. And there's a lot of this kind of stuff, which is great, but we live at the beach and everybody has this kind of stuff. And everything is slightly overpriced. Or just not very well made. It's not even real glass. I do like this wicker piece. I think it's a bench. Yeah, but I don't think we could sit on it. Okay, so I'm going to bring up my three pieces here. Pretend the beetles aren't there. Those aren't original. Um, this piece, this piece, and my fork. 
and ask about the mid-century table, which I should not be buying. Also, what? What? James Dean. This is not a real photograph, obviously, but a weird thing to hang up. I guess if you really like James Dean. No judgment if you really like Jim James Dean. Somebody lost their hat. We will put it up here. It's like a Walmart hat. We'll put it over the Beatles. Sorry, Beatles. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, next door. There is a major accident in Bradenton, so we had to turn around. This looks to be a storage unit that also sells a ton of things. It's called Scavenger's Marketplace. <laughs> and this is cool. Do we see prices on anything? Is any of this for sale? Maybe it's all free. We will take it. Oh, I like that thing too. I guess that's sand and salt. I don't know what that means at all. Is there prices on here? Free rec free records? Free? <laughs> you got me with free. Do I need records? No, these are $20. Yikes. Okay. Free records. Free? But then they say $5. Okay, I'm going to go through records. I don't know why. I... I why? I don't like records. I don't have records. Maybe artwork. This looks too pricey for me. <laughs> this looks really well organized. $9.99. This is a costume piece. This um, is going to be too. That's very loud. There's this Sherry knows about it. Nobody priced it out. What? Guys, this is too expensive. These are like little cheap buttons. Okay, let's not make snap judgments. I mean, we will, to be fair. There's cards here. What? This, this is not a thrift store. Google lies. Earrings are $20 now. They do look to be homemade. Okay, 25% off of what? We don't know. Does this look like a thrift store? There is nothing here I'm going to find, right? I mean... Okay. A glass. Let's see. It's a nice glass. Okay, it's, it's marked at least. We don't know how much they are. This particular one, oh, it's 50 cents. Okay, well, I don't need a glass. What are the other glasses marked at? $34. That glass goes back. Oh, pretty. There's gonna be a lot of pretty things here. I don't think this is Hagar, but this is a Hagar lookalike. It's one of these tiny little things I keep saying all over, but it's $59. Ooh, little teak duck, $12. I am looking, oh, I'm looking for this in brass. How much are these? $69. Okay, I shouldn't have said that that loud. They're $69 a piece. I was going to say, I was looking for a brass one of those. Oh, 
Bear has one of these from Target. These are $12. These are the actual um, Ellie Smith ones. Hmm. <laughs> Jean jackets, twenty dollars. Hmm. <laughs> okay, all jean jackets are twenty dollars. So that's that's a Target jacket. That's Marona, twenty dollars. Okay, let's go through T-shirts because you never know. Bob Marley, double stitched, so it's a reproduction. Long Beach, California. That just looks like, like a Target t-shirt, to be fair. ACDC, double stitched. That's like a, yeah, none of these are going to be good, right? Double stitched. I'm just going to look at the stitching. Double stitched. Double stitched means there's two, two things here. It'll be easier there. There's two. Ooh, that's a sexy woman there. Double stitched. This is single stitch, but this feels very, very cheap. This is Lucky Brand. Sorry, Lucky Brand. I'm not paying $12 for your t-shirt. The Beatles with cap sleeves. Vintage t-shirts rarely have cap sleeves. This is way too soft to be vintage, but it is. Is it single stitched? Maybe. Moonshine Acres, $5, but I'm guessing, yeah, alternative, that's definitely not. Yeah, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Jonas Brothers, the vintage Jonas Brothers. It's not vintage, $12. Okay, I'm just gonna give up here. Some flannels. I like this one with the patches. It looks like a t-shirt for a bed. And no, it is definitely polyester. They went 20 for the Harley and it's double stitch and then I I'm sure somebody would know what this is. I didn't know. Mr. Wilson Sportswear, the 2XL is giving China though. Oh, I love these. $150. $150. Now, maybe it's worth $200. Maybe it's worth $300. But, ooh, I see pink. Um, yeah, this is going to be a bust. This is a no name for six dollars. Don't do that. This says, what does this say? Buttercup? Aquarius. A it doesn't say Aquarius. Oh, that is a very stylized font. I don't think that says Aquarius. I'm an Aquarius. A Q U A R. Maybe it says Aquarius in just a weird font. Um, I don't want to wear that. The brooch is cute. Is the brooch marked? I don't know how much the sweatery thing is, but if the brooch was sterling, I have to take off my glasses because I can't see from afar, but up close, I am good to go. No, the brooch does seem to be hand knit. The whole thing is very itchy. Hmm. Let's, well, first of all, let's just see. Okay. That was $10. Not awful if I find, like, the best piece ever. Calvin Klein. Dennis Basso, which is QVC. Not necessarily what that brand name was. This feels very cheap. Charlotte Russe. And tin. That's not awful, but it, it's, it's a yucky material. Joe Fresh. London. Okay. Chico's. Casper. 
fifteen dollars. Ooh, this looks like a Lily Pulitzer. I'm gonna say that is Lily Pulitzer. And how much do they want for this six? And let's see what they want for it. Nine ninety nine. That's not bad. We will pull that out and set that to the side. I have to look over it for stains, but that might be the one piece that we get in here. Vivid suit, but it's it's not a good material. Highline made in China, Worthington, which is what J.C. Penney, Liz Claiborne, Dress Barn, Banana Republic, Worthington. This is a cute piece. Um, Zara, but very cute. Sixteen dollars. How did they not price up the, I hate the feel of these, price up the Lily Pulitzer. Mudo Collection. Okay, Mudo Collection, I haven't heard of you. Are you made in Italy? You are polyester and in a different language. And you have a SKU number, so I'm assuming you're not made in Italy. Aldo? Is that made Aldo? Mudo. Oh, that's the same kind of... Now, this is a better fabric. How much do they want for this before I go crazy? It's lime green. Lime green has not yet come back in. It looks maybe German. People are going to be like, it doesn't look German. It looks German. Ink. I like the colors of these, at least. Don't want to sell them, though. Talbots. It's a very low back piece without a tag. It's Calvin Klein, Land's End, Ann Taylor, Topshop. We missed this one. MGM. These are very weird pants. Sheen. And the pink ones just feel like jeans. I'm going to put this down and look at this to see if it has stains. This does not look to have a single flaw on it. I checked inside and out, and it is $10, $9.99. So that's a yes. The free records in outside are very interesting. I have no idea what I would do with those. Probably have to sell them on Facebook Marketplace, but to be fair, I don't want to do that. Ooh, I found a whole set of these for $40 locally. Um, I think it was the higher version of this, but it was like an hour and a half away. Five fifty. dollars Yeah, this stuff does well. We have a lot of fun, pretty glass. Anybody see anything they want for $4,000? Tennis rackets. I used to collect tennis rackets as a child. By child, I mean like a teenager. The boots are really pretty. 50% off of Valentine's Day. We don't need any of that. There's a lot of this, like a lot of this for free. $50. They did a nice job with the repaint, but the nesting tables, we have those at our house. There's only so many nesting tables. Whoa! What? No. I am not sure how I'm feeling about this $1,000 peacock I'm not touching. We will save the judgment for inside of my head and change my tone of voice there and leave immediately. <laughs> okay, pretty. These are Lennox, right? Lennox, $9. I'm not taking a chance on those breaking and shipping for $9. My mom would be all over this. Oh, stamps sometimes do well. They used to do really well. I think I'm gonna leave them. I'm, I'm done with stamps. I think we're all done with stamps. Oh, I like this. $285, Never mind. I was gonna say to display furniture, um, not furniture, jewelry. That's, that's a no. 
It's a definite no. And for those asking, the Pyrex bowl, sixteen dollars. The print, the print is quite faded. GI Joe belt. What? Oh no, it is a GI Joe belt. Huh? That's really pretty. There's nothing in here that I can afford. There's a lot of furniture in there. It's not an awful deal. That basket's 24 if I needed a basket. 39. Small table, 24. Not awful. $5 each. Oh, here's a whole set of Pyrex for a hundred dollars. She saved chair pads. That's what that says, right? Oh, th yes, that's what that means. So you can stack them. I will put that right back where we found it so we don't break it. Really wish there wasn't a severe car accident. Oh, I see a hanger, I think. I see two. Mermaid, they're calling this a mermaid. Is it a real one? No, it is not. If it was pink, I'd be tempted to get it though. Is this a real one? I don't think it is. No, it is not. I like those a whole lot though. And by a whole lot, I mean, oops, don't back up into that bed. What? <laughs> There's a water bottle up there. Um, it matches my house. That's what I meant by I like it. I don't even want to go through this anymore. These are beautiful. Oh, I saw a TikTok of somebody who came across the shells like this, but they're all dyed green, and they were like, I don't know, eight to 10 feet tall. Caprizi shells. Oh, so stunning. And she paid, I think like three or 350 for it. Totally, totally worth it. Oh, this is the white booth. You get married in this booth. It doesn't have any appeal to me. This is the very colorful, shiny booth. Oh, I like the cats. $58. Hey, Ray Dunn is done. I mean, unless you like it. I was looking for Mackenzie Childs because I saw some black and white, but I'm not seeing any. And I'm assuming they would know what they have. A oh, little Barbie. Bear and I watched the Barbie movie. We both very much liked it. He suggested it. I was shocked. I was like, do you know the premise of the Barbie movie? He's like, no. And I'm like, do you want to know it going into it? He's like, no. And we both really liked it. Just because it wasn't, you know, like what you would normally expect a Barbie movie to be. I like the carved fish. You don't say. Another carved fish. $75. I mean, maybe it's a great deal. Oh, you startled me. Hello, lady. What are you wearing? You were wearing something for $129. Well, that is way too much. And the belt is $3.99. Do you have any markings, belt? No. We're going to leave the belts behind. I don't need a metal belt. Ooh, some of this is marked. This looks new. I don't want new stuff. Do you need a teeny little basket for your teeny little things? Probably not. It's only $4.99 for that tiny little basket that I'm going to lose. Hmm. Fiesta wear. $15 a set. Not awful. I think. $59. I like the curation. The curations are very pretty. The prices, on the other hand. Well, these are those casserole dishes for when you bake casseroles, which I have literally never baked a casserole my entire life. Firm. $35. Those are handmade. 
I mean, in theory, maybe a lot of this is handmade and it's a lot, it's a lot. It kind of looks like a Hobby Lobby mixed with an artisan shop mixed with a thrift store. Mm. And I think we're going to call it. <laughs> just for fun because this is clearly just not a t-shirt that should be marked at any particular price when it's not oh maybe it's um maybe it's merch I don't know we're we've right into this oop that's behind the counter I can't go behind the counter okay I think I'm gonna buy this one dress is this the counter do we think this is the counter no nobody's at the counter is there a bell there's no bell. Okay, I'm gonna pay for my dress. And then on the way home, I stopped and found two pieces of furniture. This one is a sewing machine. I thought it was just a table and no, the people came out and taught me how to use a sewing machine. Not really how to use it, but how to open it. And look how pretty it is staged. And I think I sold it for $45. The person is coming tonight. And it is black and gold and singer. And I have no idea if it works or I probably could have gotten more. And the other piece is a K-I-E-L furniture, I think the name is. I have a picture on my phone, but I was too lazy to go get it. And it is wood, and it is really lightweight and pretty and has some scratches, but I think it'll do maybe $30 or so. And then the last picture is my piece of artwork, which I hung up in my lanai. Look how pretty. Okay, that's the end of this video. Bye.